Hello and welcome from the team here at Sign. My name is Crystal and today I'll be teaching you how you can get started with Sign. To sign up, we start off at the Sign main page, sign.co. From here, we press the Get Started login. The next page shows us the two options when signing up with Sign. The option on the left is for hosts, visitors and contractors to enable them to have free instant access to their personalised Sign account. The second option is the one that we'll look at today, as this link enables you to get your own site administrative account for your business. We now need to set up an account for your business by entering a few core details, such as email, account password, first and last name, and company name. You can also enter in a mobile phone number if you wish. Once these details are entered, click the sign up button at the bottom. The next page asks for your company's physical location. This is important as Sign provides a geolocation service which allows visitors to easily locate your business sign in via the app. Fill out your company's information and click the Start Using Sign button. Congratulations! You've set up your initial account and are ready to get started. The next step in setting up your Sign account is to organise your team. Team tab is located on the left hand side of the dashboard at the bottom of the Quick Links tab. Click this button to open your team page. You can now start building your team. Your team are different individuals under your employment that you wish to have access to your sign dashboard. You can start using your team by filling out their email addresses in the Collaborators email section. You then have a choice of four different member roles that you can allocate. Team Administrator, Site Administrator, reporting user, and front desk and security. For this demonstration, I'm going to set Damien as site administrator. You can then set your team member to a certain site location. This is useful when your company works over many sites. Each of these positions are assigned with different permissions, allocating different capabilities and limitations to each role type. For example, a team administrator has full access to the sign dashboard over every work site, whereas front desk and security are limited to the activity, invite and reporting sections for one site only and can read, but not alter, hosts for that site. Once you have chosen your site, you press invite and an invitation is sent to the team member, giving them permission to access your sign dashboard in their given role. If the email invite is lost or accidentally deleted, you can easily reissue the invite here. You can also alter the invite if you need to change the team member's role on the site by pressing the edit button and regaining access to the permissions. In addition, you also have the ability to delete them from your team completely by pressing the X next to their team profile. Lastly, you can use the permissions tab to filter your team by permission type, site area or name. Helpful when you have multiple team members and sites running from the dashboard. The final step of your initial setup is allocating your site logo for your dashboard. From your dashboard, scroll down to the site section of the dash and hit enter. The site page will open, displaying all the sites you have linked to your account. Click on the site you are setting up. Firstly, it is always a good idea to double check that your information is correct. If it is, scroll on. If not, quickly enter the correct address and press save. Now scroll down to branding. Here you'll be able to set up your site logo. Clicking on the upload image tab will open the window from which you can upload your site logo via upload, click and drag or fast selector. There are three different upload options that can be utilized. Site logo is the default logo for your site and will appear on printed badges, as well as emails and, if you don't use your customised logo, your iPad. iPad logo appears on your iPad interface for visitor sign-in. Mobile site logo will appear in the nearby sites list seen by mobile app users, as long as it's within your site's geolocation. And that's it for our Getting Started demonstration video. If you have further questions, check out our help website help.sign.co or send a direct message to one of our many staff members that are willing and waiting to help. To see Sign in Action, you can check out our 90 second video below. To see more help tutorials, you can click on our playlist link on the right. To sign up with Sign, click on the Sign logo and head straight to our Sign website.